Attention, all animal lovers and adventure seekers. Get ready to be amazed by the heartwarming tale of a fisherman from Kalimantan who went from being a mere observer of nature to becoming a guardian of one of its most powerful creatures. Ambo, a quiet and reserved man, lived a life on the water, spending half of his days out at sea on his trusted wooden fishing boat. Catching fish for a living, he was no stranger to the dangers that lurked in the depths. But one day, his routine changed forever after a chance encounter with a vicious and life-threatening animal. Imagine facing off against one of the most dangerous creatures on the planet, with only your bravery and quick thinking to protect you. This is the story of a man who didn't shy away from a challenge and ended up changing the course of his life in the most unexpected way. So sit back, buckle up, and get ready for an emotional roller coaster as we unfold the tale of how this man saved a crocodile from dying and the incredible twist that happened years later. As a loving and dedicated father, Ambo worked tirelessly to provide for his newborn son, Booty. Every fish he caught brought him one step closer to ensuring that his son could have a brighter future and avoid a life of water like he had. Despite the many challenges and obstacles that come with working as a fisherman, Ambo took the responsibility of providing for his family single-handedly. From preparing the bait and fishing lines to navigating his small boat out to sea each morning, Ambo was a true master of his craft. Living next to the water, he kept his boat close by, ready for action at a moment's notice. But getting to the calm waters of the sea wasn't easy. Every day, he had to navigate through a narrow river for 10 minutes before reaching the safety of the open water. Despite the difficulties, Ambo remained determined, driven by his love for his family and his passion for the sea. On one peaceful morning, Ambo set out to sea, eager to reach one of his favorite fishing spots. With the sun still hidden behind the horizon, he paddled his boat in the calm waters, grateful for the solitude and peace that only the sea could provide. But little did he know, this day would be different from any other. Ambo grew up on Bintan Island, a place that he'd watched transform from a small village into a bustling city over the course of his life. Where he used to spend hours on the water without seeing another soul, now he could see large boats shipping coal and materials to the island in the distance. Despite the changes, Ambo remained connected to his hometown through the fish and animals in the sea. Even on his days off, Ambo would go swimming near the reef, always on the lookout for new and fascinating creatures. He learned that the most surprising animals often came to him when he wasn't even looking. As Ambo prepared his fishing lines, he couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement and anticipation. He was ready to put his feet up and watch the sunrise, but his peace was short-lived. What was waiting for him in the water that day would test his bravery and quick thinking, challenging everything he thought he knew about the sea and its inhabitants. As Ambo stared out into the calm waters, he was hit by a rush of adrenaline. The once peaceful morning was now filled with excitement as one of his fishing lines suddenly jolted to the left. Ambo peered over to the side of the boat, anticipating the catch of a large fish. But instead, he was met with the shadow of a massive sharp-toothed creature. The shadow tugged on the fishing line, pulling the rod into the water, but Ambo was quick to react. In a matter of seconds, a massive green body lunged out of the water, and Ambo realized he was face to face with a crocodile. He had seen these dangerous predators before, but never so far out from the swamp. As the crocodile thrashed about in the water, Ambo could see that it was choking on a big plastic bag. Without hesitation, he jumped on top of the dangerous animal, determined to save its life. Years of fishing had made Ambo strong, and he was able to pull the plastic bag out of the crocodile's mouth in just a few seconds. He pushed the animal away and swam back to his boat, the two of them frozen in a moment of shock. The crocodile quickly swam off into the distance, and Ambo climbed back into his boat, dazed and soaking wet. He couldn't believe what had just happened. He had saved the life of one of the most dangerous animals on the planet and had a story that he would never forget. Ambo's heart was racing as he heard the splashing behind him, but as he turned around, he was met with a surreal sight. The crocodile, who he had just rescued from the clutches of a plastic bag, was now swimming playfully beside his boat. Ambo wasn't sure what to do, but as the crocodile softly nuzzled the side of his boat, he realized that this may not be an attack, but rather a friendly gesture. 
Taking a chance, Ambo offered the crocodile one of the fish that he had caught earlier. And to his amazement, the crocodile snapped it up and continued to swim alongside all the way to his house. When he reached the shore, Ambo's wife, who was near the riverbed, called out to him in a panic, warning him of the crocodile. But Ambo, now with a newfound appreciation for the animal, calmly reassured her that it was okay and offered the crocodile another fish. As the crocodile delicately took the fish from Ambo's hand, it felt like a moment straight out of a fairy tale. The two were now friends, swimming and playing in the river together. After a while, the crocodile eventually left, but the experience left an indelible mark on Ambo. He would never forget the day he tamed the river monster and became its unlikely friend. Years had passed since Ambo and the crocodile first met, and things were finally starting to quiet down. That was until Ambo's wife delivered some unexpected news. While Ambo and his son were away fishing, the crocodile returned, seeking out Ambo. With him gone, Ambo's wife and the neighbors took care of the croc, feeding her and keeping her company. When Ambo returned home, he was shocked to see the giant reptile waiting for him. Her size had doubled since the last time he saw her. But despite her size, she still remembered Ambo and the bond they formed all those years ago. He named her Riska, and she would often swim up to the house looking for him or a meal. One day, when Riska didn't show up, Ambo did the unthinkable. He took out his boat and went looking for her, just like a worried pet owner. He roamed the river searching for his friend until he finally found her. And just as he did all those years ago, he fed her, this time with fish or even chicken. After she was satisfied, she swam away and Ambo was once again filled with joy. For 20 long years, Riska the Crocodile continued to visit Ambo's home, a remarkable friendship that had defied all odds. The bond between the two had only grown stronger with time, and the once small, helpless hatchling had grown into a magnificent 23-foot-long beast. Despite her size, Riska still had a gentle and affectionate nature, and was a regular sight in the river near Ambo's home. Even when Ambo was away, either for work or other trips, he would make arrangements for his neighbors or friends to drop by and feed Riska. He knew how important it was to keep his friend well-fed and happy, and would do anything to ensure that she never went hungry. Ambo's son, Booty, also grew to love Riska and would often accompany his father on their fishing trips to feed the crocodile. He was inspired by the relationship between his father and Riska and took it upon himself to clean up the plastic from the river every week. He even dreamed of one day becoming a politician to help stop pollution from the nearby shipping town and preserve the beauty of their river for future generations. Whenever Riska was injured, Ambo would do everything in his power to help her. He would call the vet, who was too scared to get close, but would guide Ambo through the necessary steps and provide him with the necessary medicine. Despite the skeptics and doubters, Ambo's friendship with Riska had proven them all wrong showing the world that even the most unexpected friendships can be the most enduring. And that, my friends, is the story of Ambo and his unlikely friendship with Riska the Crocodile. This tale of an animal and a human bonding in a way that defies belief is truly remarkable. Ambo's devotion to Riska and the way he took care of her, even when others were scared, is a testament to the power of love and friendship. I hope you enjoyed this story. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more heartwarming stories just like this one. Until next time, take care.